Defend objective right. A. Feel the healing me. See that which is unseen. So, there's a couple things worth noting here. Um, so first off is that they're double sniper and you're just a Hanzo, right? Um, so generally speaking, at longer ranges, they'll have advantage because they'll have walls on you. They'll have, like, the Widow just, like, outranges you, <laughs> like, effect effective range-wise. Like, I mean, uh, I mean, you're technically also a sniper, right? And your team is also more of an aggro comp, right? So you can play alternate off angles, uh, and it's not bad. But just keep in mind that, like, they're running dive. They're probably going to chase you around, right? Because there's no one else on your team that they can chase around. Um... And on top of that, like your team is going to be really aggressive in general, um, so you want to play like short angles and like um, rel and like relatively close high grounds, right? So your, your transition from here shouldn't be to like back up and play this pillar behind you. It should be to like transition more towards your team, right? Group up more with your team, so that way when they die, they're, they're diving into a reaper, right? And then when your team goes in, you you kind of follow them in, right? Um, you can play like high grounds and stuff like that. You can take vertical angles and stuff like that, take shots. But um, you either playing really far back and trying to distract snipers, or you're going in with your team, right? Uh, this middle ground is like not really the best for the Hanzo here. See that which is unseen. Yeah, so you spend a lot of this fight just like using the tank that happens to be closest to you, and, like hitting it. Uh, and you can't find the opportunities to go for like backliners, right? Um, and like uh. Yeah, <laughs> that always kind of sucks as Hanzo. So the whole fight, if we look at what you actually shot, you shot like, I think pretty much exclusively tanks other than this one shot in the Lucio here, and like maybe one on the Widow or something. Um, and all your shots on like, those snipers are just like... Oh. Greetings. Switch. Everything can be hacked. And everyone. Yeah, so you want to hack this mega, right? But you don't want to put the, the translocator. I think we talked about this. Uh, you would much rather have the translocator like behind this set of boxes right here, right? Uh, if you expect that the enemy team is not going to push this side, right? If you think they're going to make go go main or go right, you put the translocator here. It's totally safe. You can't get shot when you come out, etc., etc. Or you just drop it in spawn, right? You just drop it here, like behind this wall or something, or even like in here. You just throw it in. Um, and that way, like, your health, your chance could always put your extreme safety. Um, so this is like you put it here if you expect to farm, right? So you can get out on the map um, and do it safely, or you like hide it in like a corner somewhere, like in spawn or something, um, uh, or like like behind here, like nobody ever checks this spot, right? Just somewhere really far back with it, uh, if if it's going to be if you go if you want to use it during the fight, right? It's too easy to lose control of this spot, and especially when you're running dive, uh, where like you kind of fight all over the map, and sometimes they'll get in, right? And then when they get in, like they're going to be using this spot as well, right? So make sure you hack this, but um, leaving the the chancel kitty here is um, not the safest. Objective lost. Uh, so this sound might sound obvious, but if they're trying to shoot you, don't try to hack them. <laughs> um, it's I know hack is really forgiving. If they miss, you can get the hack off, but like the the odds of this bulb missing you are kind of low. Um, so you can like try to hack during reloads, but like if you get your hack canceled, then it's on two second cooldown, right? So uh, if like it gets canceled and then he reloads, you can be really sad, right? So this happens a lot against like tracers, for example, right? Um, you want to hack during the reload um, when they can't do anything, um, and uh, but if they're shooting you, you just gotta fight, right? You you can't. There's no there's no room to hack. It's kind of a small thing, obviously it doesn't really matter here, but it's something to keep in This is super risky, but somehow like no one ever actually deals with it. <laughs> uh, you should probably put your translocator down somewhere in this in this moment, uh, unless you're, you're planning to get aggressive with it, right? 
So either like you, you throw it in, in here, right? And then start walking out to be aggressive. Uh, or like you throw it behind you, like over here, where it's unlikely to get, get killed, right? Uh, and then go aggressive. Um, or you just save it so you can for mobility, right? But saving for mobility is like a big window where it can be punished. Um, as in like you throw it and they chase you down, right? So just keep in mind that like thrown translocators are never as effective unless you really need that very precise mobility in that moment, right? So that should pretty much always be for taking high ground. So that's good, but you should have done this a little earlier. This is really good pressure. A bit risky, but. Uh, you probably didn't need to translocate out. I don't know exactly why. You have beat, right? So like, why why are you scared, right? Like, oh, what the? Oh, like you have beat. These guys are all right here. Like, just jump up the corner, right? And keep going, right? Hack somebody, shoot, whatever. Even walk back out this way. But like grabbing the mega seems like a weird panic play. Yeah. That kind of translocator is really risky, right? Because now you're locked here for six seconds. As opposed to just having one behind you. Like, not saying you can't go for these, but just keep in mind that like every time you do this, and you, um, there's a there's a reasonable risk that you can just get focused and die. Back off. Fight there is fine because your team wins by a lot, but it's the middle of fights it's just, it's just automatic. Much better. Uh, if you want to hide your translocator, you can like hide it like here. People usually don't check, right? Um. Uh, or you can just throw it behind this wall, this half wall, right? They just throw it over here, land it somewhere around here. In order to kill it, they have to come all the way around here, right? Which is kind of a, like extreme, even if they can see it. Or you can just throw it into spawn. <laughs> yeah. So here, this is like interesting. But the problem is, this is like fundamentally like about vision here, because you can't actually get aggressive anymore. Um, because you have no translocator. If you want to, if you want to save chance, chance uh, translocator for EMP, you can. But just keep in mind that, like, again, you can charge your translocator while your translocator is down, right? So then you can just like throw your translocator over here, and then sit here, and then like if you want to translocate, you just get rid of your translocator and then throw it, right? Although keep in mind that when your translocator dies, there's uh, some replace the voice line. So even if you kill your own translocator, there'll be like a, a dang at sound or whatever, uh, and the people can actually have an idea where you are. Um, I've definitely heard sombers do that. Like they kill their own translocator, and I heard the voice line, and then like. I'm ready to re more. I'm more re more ready to react to the, to the translocator EMP. Um, but yeah. So things to keep in mind against this comp. Uh, they're very spread out, right? They have Hanzo here. They have the the core of the team's here, but the ball shouldn't be here. Like the ball's not really going to be with their team for much longer. The Lucio uh, is kind of together, and then like the Hogs way off on the side, right? So thing to note about this team. Is that you don't actually have to find uh, like to throw your translocator to find a good EMP. The good EMP will come to you, right? If you just sit like here or something with your team, um, in this general area, right? And then the enemy team goes in. You just stand here, open up the EMP on point, and you'll catch like all the important people. You catch the Genji, you catch the Lucio, you'll catch the the ball. You might even catch the Hog, right? And then you just kill them, and then you move on, right? Um, so you don't have to force the EMP. Like the translocate EMP is nice, uh, but this should only be paired with a dive, right? So if like uh, and you don't have dive. <laughs> so, um, or like a rush, right? So if you throw the translocator EMP, your team needs to be ready to go, right? And then everyone, as soon as you EMP, like this backline right here, everybody should just, everybody, everybody should just run in and focus on, down targets that, that you've hacked, right? Uh, I don't know exactly what happened here, but it's probably not that. Oh, that's good EMP. Uh, but imagine if you had translocator uh, with it, right? So like, imagine if you're just hanging out with your team, right? And then like, you uncloaked here, and then use the double jump you get from um, EMP to like EMP like around this corner, and then you translocate it out if you took a haunted error, right? Um, like sure, like the the translocator EMP is nice, right? It's kind of flashy, um, but remember that like now you have no escape option, right? So always see if you can solve a problem without using translocator first, right? Uh, if you do need translocator, it's okay, right? No problem there. But if possible, we want to like live, we want to get a good EMP without using translocator. Because that way we can always leave, right? Ya estoy lista para ese trago. ¿Qué tal? Yeah. 
So in this case, they were watching your translocator, so they just like killed you. Uh, and this is why this is not the best spot for the translocator. <laughs> So nice adaptation on the translocator. Uh, you just put it down on the pack because you didn't want to die like before you got the pack. But the bigger problem now is that like if this happens again, where you end up fighting over here for like, and they're they're trying to force you out. When they start fighting you here, the Genji will just kill your um, your translocator, and then you'll die, right? Um, that's like a common play. The fact that Genji waited was kind of interesting. Because we just couldn't come together like the team. Nice See you later. Regreso. See that pack is fine. The translocator is fine if you're gonna farm, right? But if you want to make a play, now it's like you're losing control of this spot. It's very dangerous. One shot. Ready. What? Defend objective A. Enemy So here, this is just like, Widow is very straightforward. <laughs> uh, but here, so you get a pick, right? But your team lost the fight, right? And you see them walking forward, you need to run as fast as you can. Um, because um, you got advantage for your team, right? Just by like getting the kill, right? So your team's going to be 65 in the next fight. Um, but you need to run, right? Because if you die, you're going to get staggered and your team's going to take a 5v5 anyways into defensive positioning, right? So if you start running immediately, right? Like... By the time they get here, like physically, from here to here, right, you'll be from here to like all the way around here and chasing you into spawn is like really hard, right? And you'll be close to grapple cooldown at that point, right? You can, you can LOS, you can grab the mini, you can do whatever, right? Uh, but you got to start running as soon as you realize that they're pushing underneath you because eventually they will chase you down and kill you, right? Um, so as soon as your team has come from the loss and the enemy team is pushing you up, you got to back out. Like that shot is like, is like, um, it's not very necessary. Uh, it also tells them exactly where you are that you didn't move, um, and the time it takes for that it took for that shot just locked you into the spot for too long, and now you're gonna die. Like, there's actually no way to live anymore. Right? I'm sure you realize this. Like, it would it would take like a pretty big miracle to live at this point. Hey, so if we look at the timing when you get back, huh. yeah, that should also be your back, or like almost back. You're, you're back, right? Where's the chunker at? Wait, where's the chunker at? Yeah, he's he's effectively contributing, right? So things to keep in mind. All right, if you see a bunch of people on the side, you should probably call it. <laughs> hey. Objective. 
Yeah, Widow, I'm not sure how much, how much I should be looking at this, because, like, Widow on this map is just kind of, like, the positionings are very obvious, the timings are pretty obvious, and it's just kind of, like, hit the shot. <laughs> right, you haven't really made any, like, major problems. Um, I do think you could probably rotate into the map at some point, but this, I mean, the soldier was sitting here the whole time, so it's kind of hard to do that. So. Go to sleep. No one can hide from my sight. I must till next! Fire at will! <laughs> Damn. Yeah. You're not really doing anything defensively wrong. You're definitely missing opportunities for impact. Like, um, for example, like when you're sitting here and the whole team walk past you, like you have nothing else to do except drop at that point and find something else to do, right? Um, if it turns out there's a guy there, then you shoot him. If not, then you can grapple up. Um, like either walk past them and grapple into their spawn, right? And now you have an angle, right? Uh, or just like keep going around this way, right? And even if your team loses, now you're you're still in position to go for flank shots, right? 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 So you're just waiting, waiting. Your team comes back, they try to the same rotation again, then you jump out and get a free shot, right? So you're missing opportunities to take free map control when to flank when like there's nothing else to do. Um, but for the most part, what you're doing is fine. Um, it just comes down to like hitting shots, um, because that's kind of widow in a nutshell most of the time. Um, so yeah, uh, for Sombra, um, put your trans emphasize putting your translocator somewhere safer. There's a like um. Realize the difference between like a poking translocator, right? Like a farming translocator versus like one you'll need during the fight, right? Um, and like there's like different relative, uh, there's like different um, uh, levels of safetyness, right? So like during a uh, during a poking phase, right? During a farming translocator, you can have the tra translocator as far forward as you want uh, because they're not going to be there for it, right? Uh, but before the fight, your team is probably going to lose some degree of map control, and certain areas are in the contested areas, like underneath the bridge. Um, are unlikely to remain safe. Uh, and like, uh, you didn't really get punished for it that much, but the times you got punished for it were pretty significant. And the times like, um, you kind of just went back to the translocator a little too often, right? It's okay to use that one. And then as soon as you realize like, oh crap, the place I just translocated from is pretty close to where I translocated to, then you gotta throw the translocator away somewhere else, right? Um, so like, uh, let's probably talked about, or like into your spawn or like uh, behind the boxes, right? So, um, like, if you're under here, and you just got out of here, right? Like, the fight was here, or the fight was over here, and you translocated back to here. Chances are they're going to know about this one, so, right? So you come out here, you throw it, like, over these boxes, right? And it'll land somewhere over here, and it'll be relatively safe, right? Um, it's like that kind of concept, right? Um, just throw it somewhere to your back line, and it'll probably be fine. Um, and, uh, yeah. During farming areas as well, you don't need to leave it on the, on the health pack. You can just leave it with your supports, right? Like here. Um... Obviously, this one's a slightly better for farming um, because it's closer, so you can get like you get back on the map faster. Uh, but leaving it with your supports isn't bad either uh, because it's going to be safe, right? Um, if supports are like feel threatened, they're going to be talking about it, or they should be talking about it. Um, and so then you can cancel, like you just kill the translocator and reposition it, right? Um, or uh, just go back early and help them fight off the threat, right? Um, and that way, also, like when you come back, you, your supports will get the ultra charge as well. So, uh, and if it's a farming translocator, like Chances are that they're like normally you don't want to stretch the supports, which is why health pack, taking health packs is nice. But again, with um, because uh, it's it's a poke phase farming translocator, your supports have nothing else to do, so it's fine. Um, yeah, uh, with EMP again, um, you only had one EMP that I could see, but um, with EMP, if you don't have to translocate, you don't need to translocate, so don't translocate. Um, if you sometimes the only time, only way you'll get a good EMP is by translocating, right? Uh, or sometimes like your team's gonna all in, right? So like they're gonna they're about to all jump. So if you just get a good EMP, it doesn't really matter like whether or not you die. You just need to get the good EMP, and so those, in those cases it's fine. Um, but just keep in mind that like if you don't have to translocate, try not to translocate. Um, yeah, uh, and then for Widow, um, try to take map control if there's nothing else to do, right? I know this is the the spot on this map, right? But like if they're all over here fighting, right? You you gotta find something else to do, right? So that means like crossing the map, getting in, right? Finding alternative angles to shoot them from, right? Uh, or getting to their back line. Make it unsafe for them to come back, right? Because chances are, there's going to be fighting here, and eventually they're going to have to walk out, right? And if you wait 
Um, especially if like your team died. If your team dies, you just wait, right? But if your team is still fighting there, you come out. You're you're waiting here. You're waiting here, ready to meet them. They come out. You shoot them in the face, right? Like free kills. They're probably not expecting you. And then you've either pinned them down in this room forever, uh, or like um, you get kills, right? And your team wins. Um, yeah. So just take opportunities to get on the map. I know this is the spot, but like in situations where the spot isn't good, you got to find ways around it, right? Um, yeah. And that's all. Um, if you have any questions about anything I said, let me know. And uh, that's all.